Hello, this message is for Virgo. Hey Virgo, Maria here with Fourth Dimension. Thanks for joining me today. This is what is coming up the next week in May. I think it's the 5th through the 11th. Tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. If that goes down my shirt, I'm totally going after it, I'm just saying. I'm that dedicated. Holy crap. Virgo, Virgo. All right, Virgo. Bottom, bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> Bear with me here, I got a lot of cards out. I have three kings out already. Middle of your spread. Virgo, what you got going on here? Oh my goodness. So in any, any read, right? This is the energy that comes out. These are all, these are all residual. I have the Five of Swords in the reverse. I have a Wheel of Fortune. I have the Two of Cups in the reverse. I have a Two of Wands in the re or in the upright. I have a Ten of Swords. I have a Seven in the upright. I have a Seven of Wands in the reverse. And a Six of Swords. Lots to unpack here. Hold on. Lots and lots to unpack. Virgo, we just got done, believe it or not with uh, two major eclipses, a full moon and a retrograde. What I'm finding in a lot of zodiac signs is because of the retrograde is ending, it stirred up feelings, right? Of um, kind of like nostalgia, but also should I stay or should I go? Do I want to keep investing in this? Um, and should I, what, what can I take on to the next chapter that is going to benefit me <clears throat> versus what am I going to leave behind that doesn't? So that is the overall energy for the zodiac all of the signs, um, kind of like just where the placements are, this go round um, until I think there's going to be new changes, new intentions by the next full moon, which is at the end of this month. I think it's full moon or a new moon. I'll have to check. Hang in there. Somebody in the comments, please check for me and put it in there. Thank you very much. Um, so right off the bat, previously in the just the last week, two weeks, I have a page of swords, a three of cups in the reverse in this wonderful queen of pentacles followed by an eight of cups a king of wands in the reverse and a king of cups in the reverse whoo girl man whatever like oh my goodness so all this energy is telling me i am not willing to partake and take any kind of action on any previous relationship that didn't serve me i am making decisions based on self I am making hard choices. I love these people, I, but I, my overall energy is I'm walking away to find a better me, my own 10 of pentacles. Now, I don't know if you're gonna take somebody with you on this, on this walk, but this is the sun, happiest card in the deck. Whew, this is a lot of energy. Um, seven, I think since you made these choices in the past, again, I'm just reading your last two sections of energy in the previous. You've let go things that don't serve you. I have a king of wands in the reverse, and I have a king of cups in the reverse, meaning these people either want to come back and restore this relationship you've walked away from, I have an eight of cups, or they're coming back and telling you I'm no longer embodying the things that made me a king of, of uh, wands, player energy, king of cups, stoic withholding. So they're going to be gushing their feelings out all over you saying I am not because the king of cups holds their feelings back. They're like, I'm good. You would never know if they won the lottery or if their best friend passed away instantaneously. Never know. They would just be flat affect. They very much, I'm exaggerating, but you kind of get the idea. They don't share with you how they feel. You have no idea how they care for you. This might've been a relationship in and out. This had been in periodic and you've escalated. You've held on to this person. I believe you've committed. You're entertaining this or have entertained this again in the past. And somebody didn't show their feelings, emotions, and you walked away, Virgo. You took care of you. Why do I say that? Because I got so many 10 of swords, 10 of wands. Those are endings, completions. You are on this wonderful wheel. I love this. And this is positive information. Um, 
you were coming, like this was a lot of pain, okay? Let me just kind of tell you, you had a lot of challenges. You put, like I said, a lot of energy, a lot of, like if, um, you didn't know where you stood. You didn't know where you stood. You're back and forth in, investing in this thing. You, you missed a lot of sleep over this relationship. You cried a lot of tears. You, ah, you just love this person tremendously. And I feel like their, their games cost you this relationship because you walked away. You did. You aren't entertaining uh, two of cups anymore. And you have these challenges you've left behind and you're leaving the stress behind. And as a result of these wonderful two tens, bada bing, you're having a huge come up. Not only financially, but brand new opportunities. You might even be moving. This is the happiest card in the deck. You haven't been this happy in years. You are investing in self. Now, this is in the most recent past. Why? Because it's the Eight of Cups and the Upright. Okay? Page of Swords. Honest communication. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> This is the, the celebration card. This is nothing to celebrate. I don't want to have a win. I'm good. And you are solid. You are stable. Oh my goodness. Virgo, you can hold your own. You are creative all by yourself. Look, at she has a tree coming out of her head, meaning anything she thinks of turns into gold. Everything she touches is successful. Anytime she puts any energy towards it at all, it becomes a pentacle. It is abundance at infinity. Like at infinity, it creates its own creation. So whatever this person, you, puts into effect has the ability to create everlasting abundance, whether it be in love, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be in a brand new invention. Whoever I'm speaking to, you walked away from this situation because you put all your energy, faith, hope, love into this person that failed you. No other way to say it. That's your previous history. You, you washed your hands of it and you walked away. Here we go, center stage. If I were to drop a pin on your timeline, it would hit today, this wherever today is for you, next week, Tuesday, two weeks from now, a year from now, wherever it's falling today, the minute you're watching me, my eyeballs, this is your message. You have a king of swords with a four of wands and a chariot in the reverse. This king wants to come forward and have an honest conversation about why this relationship didn't work, but they can't, they're stuck. They have guilt, they have shame, this is all off this card. They have guilt and they have shame. They have remorse. They wish they could take it back. There was a, bu a bunch of ego wrapped up into this sucker. And then on top of it, if that wasn't enough, they might be in a current relationship, which is why they can't come forward. Because I don't believe that people can't come forward. They just choose not to. This person is choosing not to because if they came forward, the other vibe I'm getting, if they're not in a relationship and they are single, if they were, and I talk fast because it's just the downloads are coming in quicker, so I'll try to slow down, my apologies. The reason why I feel this person can't or won't come forward is because they know, they know that what they did, they have gotten the downloads. They know the effery that they created in this last relationship is going to take a strong-minded, honest individual and intent. So did they want to stop and have a relationship again? I don't think so. Not necessarily with you, with anybody. I just realized that this person recognizes that they are not moving forward in any relationship. They do not wish to engage at that level. They want to remain single. Nothing wrong with that, but they shouldn't have told you that they wanted a relationship when they really didn't or, or weren't ready. Can't make it up. That's your current energy. This might be a recollect, like a recognition for you. You may not have known the rest of the story. I'm telling you, they would have an honest conversation if they could about why this relationship didn't work, but they can't come forward to you right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a four of cups. Yeah, in the near future, four of cups, six of... <sighs> Man, Virgo. I need you guys to catch a break. <laughs> I why I just want to like let's go do coffee. Let's go. Let's go get a pedicure. Um, so I have a six of cups. I have a page of wands, and I have a four of cups. So this nostalgic king of swords is sitting, and it doesn't matter about gender. Just it's an energy, and the king of swords is. I'm finally going to take ownership of this truth. 
if I could, if I could have a conversation, I would, but I can't. So I just sit in it and the next opportunity I have that I'm single, I'll come forward and have this conversation because they require and deserve that level of commitment I was willing to bring, but I can't cause I'm stuck. Cause I'm A, in another relationship, B, not ready cause I'm finishing up a divorce or I got several of them, I live too far away. Uh, there's a barrier to the, to, there's a third entity, not necessarily a human, it could be, could be, a work project, it could be time, it could be travel, it could be they live in one continent, you live in another. There's there's a definite reason why this relationship won't work in the current state. They wanna have a conversation with you about that if they could, but they know better because I'm gonna reiterate it, I just feel like I need to. If they were to come forward and have the conversation, the intent would be I'm ready now. And they it won't it won't be helpful to have the conversation without a solution. That's what I'm hearing this person say in my head. Like, Maria, you don't understand. I don't want to go back and just say, I'm sorry. I want to go back and restore this thing. That's just, I want to make a decision to move forward. Check this out. I want to make a decision to move forward. Same energy. I want to make a decision, life-changing decision, life-changing Japan or Kentucky. Where do I want to live, right? Life-changing decision to make this right, but I can't because I have... Uh, uh, too many challenges I'm coming out of. I'll get there. I have no nails anymore because I'm getting ready for gardening. So I, take my, so I can't grab any cards. So I'm trying to make it right. Excuse me. Let's try this. Let's try this. I'm trying to make it right, but I'm stuck. I can't. That's an energy. Love you. Can't move forward. Love you. Can't move forward. Still love you. Still can't move forward. This person has nothing but fond memories of you. Wants to move forward misses you tremendously, wants to have an open-ended conversation about this, wants to make this right with you. I feel like when I see that four of cups, it was a missed opportunity. It was an un, it, it like didn't, it was unfulfilled. It didn't get off the ground. It didn't get all the way to completion. It didn't get to the, where it should have gone. The lessons weren't learned. The messages that you were receiving, um, it just didn't see its way to completion. And so this person wants to have a conversation with you about having it come to completion. And I don't think, I don't think that you're now in a place where you want to hear this. I feel like you're happy about it. It's the happiest card in the deck. We just saw that, but I don't know if that's on your own or with this person. That's a 10 of pentacles. That is a joint, typically a joint relationship because by yourself, you're the pre-empress, regardless of the sex, it's nine, nine of pentacles the energy that it embodies is you're solid on your own. It's very similar to this energy, Queen of Pentacles, but I have a I have a Ten of Pentacles. So maybe they're coming and offering you this their one pentacle. I don't see it on the board, but maybe that's the subconscious kind of playing tricks on me and saying this is my intent is I want to have a relationship. I do see a Two of Pentacles, a decision that needs to be made by you, and I have an Ace of Swords in the upright, meaning honest communication and fear. It takes some fear and anxiety. This person's gonna take a risk and jump in and have a conversation with you about generating a new relationship. And I have Temperance, meaning I will restore this to the balance it is. This is restoration. And when I, I and it's reconciliation too, but restoration of a relationship is kind of building the bridge back right? It's different than the tower because the tower is an actual unit where you are living under one roof and, you know, it's, it could be even the soul, not physically, but it's a, unif it's a unified um, arrangement of an agreement. It's two people having an agreement to build together. A bridge is just the place where they can walk. One person starts over here and one person starts over here and they walk to the center and they can restore this relationship, restoration. That doesn't necessarily mean build on a foundation and start building your tower. That's the vibe I have. If somebody wants to at least start the restoration process of this relationship. Okay, Virgo, that's where I'm going to leave you. But if you want more deets, if this actually resonated with you, you want some more intel, feel free to hit me up at fourthdimensiontarot at gmail.com. Otherwise, um, I will be more than happy to send um, send out my Wednesday message. And don't forget, if you haven't joined the tribe, please do. It costs you nothing. It takes one second. And that way you're notified of our content. Make me super happy because I would grow our footprint a little bit 
broader. Love and light to each and every one of you, Virgo, and uh, good luck on your trail, and we'll talk to you Wednesday.